fractions is because when we add fractions, add and subtract, this is really the most difficult because multiplying is easy. Dividing is fairly easy. But I think adding and subtracting is really what gives fractions a bad rap because now we have to determine the least common denominator between 3 and 5. So whenever I'm adding and subtracting fractions, I always like to write in the LCD and say the LCD is going to be the common denominator that both 3 and 5 divide into, the least common denominator, which in this case will be 15. Then I determine, OK, so if I need to get 5 to be 15, I need to multiply by 3 over 3. And then to get 3 to be 15, I need to multiply by 5 over 5. And the next biggest mistake that students make is they don't multiply the same number in the top and bottom. We need to make sure when we're doing this, we are producing equivalent fractions. So you got to whatever you multiply in the numerator, you have to multiply in the denominator. So therefore, I have 10 over 15 plus 3 over 15. Now, it's like the problems we did over here. Where I have the common denominator, I just add 13 over 15. And that's simple. All right.